Coach C, Olivia Gunzo, and Lauren McCray. Um, big win tonight against a conference opponent. Um, that makes it four straight wins. Um, coming off of a big win last week versus Eckerd. And then now we take down Florida Tech. Uh, talk about what went into this uh, big game, big win. Well, it's just all about defense with us lately. Um, you know, we were, we were worried about how four was going to get off. And, um, you know, the last two games we were able to contain what we thought was a threat. Uh, Tadra Simpson's been uh, eyeballing the best player on the other team and doing a great job for us. But she had some foul trouble and other people stepped up defensively. And, you know, we had we only gave it up 24 points at halftime. So us to, us to be better and to sustain – is going to be about defense, and I'm proud of the way this program's playing defense right now. Uh, to go off the defensive performance, you guys held them to 31% from the field, um, and most importantly, 17% uh, from the three-point line. Talk about how you guys were able to lock in uh, defensively and kind of keep them off the perimeter. Just know the assignment. Um, you know, 24 on, on Florida Tech was two for eight. And uh, we really studied her, and we understood we had to chase her and know where she was. She hit a big one towards the last minutes of the game. Um, but I just give you know the hats off to our players who rotated on her and understood the assignment. But we're scrambling, we're contesting, and it's going to be interesting to watch this film to see how many shots we contested, because um, that's how you get better. You just got to contest shots and rebound, and that's they're buying in. And my assistants are killing it on the defensive end with with assignments. So proud of the whole program, to be honest. Um, question for Olivia. It's kind of a um, breakout game for you, 17 points, 70% uh, from the field, 50% from three. Uh, talk about your preparation and how you were able to come in and shoot well in this game. Uh, I've just been getting in the gym a lot, like before and after practice and before games, and it's been showing. And then for Lauren, um, 13 <clears throat> points on the night. And then four big free throws down the stretch to kind of seal the game uh, for your team. Talk about that a little bit. Um, just being able from the jump to hit those uh, two threes in the first half uh, really helped me. And then being able to knock down those four free throws at the end um, and having having the backs of my teammates um, really, really was uh, nice to get that win over Florida Tech because it is a conference game. Coach C, talk about the performance of um, Olivia and Lauren tonight and how they were able to contribute to a big win. You know, Liv, Liv works hard, man, and she comes around the office, and uh, you could tell, and she was the first one in the gym before the game and the last one to leave, one of the last ones to leave the gym and shoot around, and she loves basketball. And I recruit, try to recruit kids that love basketball, um, and I'm just so impressed. That's her first college start, I think. Um, and she stepped in for Alanis Diaz, who loves basketball more than life at times. So to step up for a kid that's been a glue for us, I'm proud of you, man. You really, you really made me happy today. You did a great job, kid. Thank you. And this one over here, I could just tell by the look in her eyes, we needed to get her the ball. So every out of bounds play was scripted to get Lauren to basketball, and she knew the assignment and she executed the assignment. But man, to step in and make four free throws with the game on game on the line because they have a they had their our, our back to the wall and they were controlling that last minute to make those free throws is, is the reason we won the basketball game. So great, incredible job, kiddo. Way to Thank make you. them. And that's a good learning curve because we're going to give her the ball down the stretch when we need free throws for sure. So, massive. And then as we look ahead, um, next week, Wednesday, take on Trinity College, who's been playing uh, very well lately. Talk about the preparation going into that and what you guys need to do to pull out a big win. It's an interesting time, right? we got to balance. They're going to be upset with me because we'll probably add a couple study halls. But it is finals time. It is uh, a couple days off with practice. And Trinity's on the map for Wednesday, I believe. And we would love to have as many people we come to see all these basketball players on Wednesday. Hopefully get the six and two. Trinity's a well-coached team. Um, and, you know, they're kind of a undiscovered niche of Florida. Uh, but they're up and coming. they got good coaches. And we just have to prepare for them like an SSC game. So please come out and see these ladies. They deserve, they deserve all the applause and attention. Thank you.